Hey everyone, today I'm going to be putting an ostrich egg in my vacuum chamber to see if it actually explodes. So the ostrich egg is the world's largest egg. It's actually the world's largest single cell as well. And then I'm also going to be putting in two rhea eggs. If you never heard of a rhea before, the rhea is also a large flightless bird just like the ostrich, but it's a little bit smaller, kind of like an emu. So I have two eggs here. We're going to be putting them all in the vacuum chamber and see if they explode. So I obtained these eggs from Floex Country Ostrich Ranch in New Mexico. And it's a pretty cool ranch. They have free ranging ostriches, emus, and rheas there. And just like you can collect eggs from chickens, you can also collect eggs from ostriches and rheas. And these are non-fertilized eggs, so it's not like they're going to turn into baby chicks. If they didn't collect them and eat them, they would have just rotted. And also, I'm going to be eating them after the experiment. I'm actually pretty curious how these eggs taste compared to chicken eggs. Okay, so first we're going to be trying the ostrich egg. So an ostrich egg shell thickness is about four times thicker than a chicken egg. So we're going to be seeing if the pressure inside can get strong enough to actually make the egg crack and explode while it's in the vacuum chamber. So normally inside of chicken eggs and even ostrich eggs, there can be a tiny little air pocket. Now that air pocket is really the only thing that can cause the egg to explode. We need a gas that's able to expand inside the shell. So in order to give it its best chance of exploding, what I've done is empty the egg out of the eggshell. So we just have an empty ostrich eggshell here, and we're going to see if it actually explodes in the vacuum chamber. And then for comparison, since I only have the one ostrich egg, I'll try the rhea egg, which I haven't emptied out. This still has the actual egg and yolk inside of it. I'll see if this explodes in the vacuum chamber or not. So where the hole was on the bottom, I've completely sealed it with duct tape. It's an airtight seal. It should be able to hold, and, sen and since that area is such a small area, it should be able to hold and not break the duct tape. So this is worst case scenario for an ostrich egg, completely filled with air. Let's see if it actually explodes in the vacuum chamber. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm nervous. Half an atmosphere. The duct tape's still holding on the bottom. Looks like it's holding up so far. So the interesting thing is that eggs are actually permeable to oxygen because that's how, when there's a baby chick inside and it needs to grow, it still needs oxygen. So oxygen normally diffuses through the eggshell. So I'm wondering if there's some oxygen or some of the air that's inside diffusing out and that's relieving some of the pressure inside the eggshell. Okay, it looks like it didn't explode, but let's let the air back in. Three, two, one. Oh, I don't see anything. I'm nervous to hold this now though. Take this off, see if we hear a rush of air. Hmm. I think the seal actually held pretty good and I didn't see, I actually don't see any cracks at all. It looks like the eggshell held together just fine. So this is actually pretty crazy to think about. This has a surface area of around 113 inches squared. So if you calculate how much pressure was being exerted from the inside of the egg, at, at full vacuum, that's around 1,600 pounds of force. So now the question is, can I actually stand on the egg and not have it break? Because I've heard that you can stand on an ostrich egg and it won't break. The only thing I'm concerned about is the small hole in the bottom. We've already weakened the structure of it by making this hole, but let's see if it still works. Because I do want to see what the inside of the egg looks like. So I know they said that an ostrich egg can support the weight of a grown man, but how the heck is a grown man supposed to balance on the ostrich egg? <laughs> That's the question. Oh, I'm gonna hurt myself. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Didn't break. Whoa! <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, definitely not breaking with all my, all my weight on it. So I weigh around 165 pounds. This is not breaking. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so I did have it on a foam pad here, but let's see what happens when I actually have it on the cement. So now there's gonna be a much higher point load on the eggshell here. Oh, I cannot balance on this. Okay, how about we do it like this? Eggshell here. Put my bottom guard. Looks like I'm laying the egg. Okay, here we go. Okay, one, two. This is gonna shoot out from under me. It looks like I'm laying an ostrich egg. One, two. How do I lift my legs up? One, two, three. Oh, ow. It broke and I hurt my fingers, ow. Okay, so it definitely broke. So you can see that when I had it on the cement, it couldn't support my weight. So I guess that an ostrich egg can support the weight of a grown man if it's on something soft. But look at the thickness of this shell. That is awesome. So you can see it's actually pretty easy to break. Kind of like, feels kind of like porcelain or something. But mostly it seems so strong because of the structural integrity of the shape of the egg. I really hurt my thumbs doing that because I was supporting myself up like that. I should have had my hands flat. So right when I fell, it split my fingers open like that. I don't think I sprained both of my thumbs. This has to be the weirdest way possible that anyone could have sprained their thumbs. Sitting on an ostrich egg and it broke. <laughs> okay, now let's do the Rhea egg. So the Rhea egg does have the egg inside of it. So it has the yolk and the egg white and everything in there. Haven't poked any holes in it. So let's see if this actually can withstand the vacuum. And then after this, I'll cook it up and eat it and see how it tastes. Okay, three, two, one. There we go. Don't see anything happening. Oh, <laughs> okay, so once again, I don't see anything happening to the egg. Let's let the air back in and see what happens. Okay, it seems to have survived just fine. Don't see any leaks anywhere. So ostrich eggs, rhea eggs, emu eggs, and even chicken eggs are free to go into space with no problems. Okay, I'm gonna try to make a giant fried egg. Okay, so I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to crack this egg, it's so big. <laughs> hmm. Nope. Oh, there it goes, it cracked. Okay. Holy cow, that is so big. <laughs> that is a giant egg. So if you can believe this is actually one single cell, that is crazy. <laughs> that is a giant egg yolk. <laughs> Look at that, I can fit into the palm of my hand. Okay, so I'm just gonna salt my egg. I'm gonna try to cook it as one whole egg. I don't know if I'll be able to flip it though. A little pepper. So here's a pop quiz. If this were actually a fertilized egg, which part of the egg would become the chick? So because it's not fertilized, it would have never become a chick, but if it were fertilized, would it be the yolk? Would it be the egg white or the yolk or neither? So the yolk actually has a small white spot on it called the germinal disc. That's the part that becomes the chick. The yolk is basically the food for the chick while it's growing. So the primary purpose of the white part of the egg is basically to protect the yolk and the embryo inside. It also provides additional nutrients. Okay, I'm gonna try something really weird here to flip it. Doubt this will work. One, two, three. Hey, it kind of worked. <laughs> so it already looks a little different. The egg white is not quite as white as a normal chicken egg. 
Uh, crack my yolk. Okay, let's serve this up. There we go, breakfast of champions right there. I made you breakfast. Wow. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So this definitely looks weirder than a normal chicken egg. Uh, it's not, the white is definitely not as white. It's more clearish, um, grayish looking, not as appetizing looking. So I'll get a part of the white and a part of the yolk. Why is it so hard to eat? Okay, here we go. Oh, that's good. It literally just tastes like an egg. Like exactly like a chicken egg. No different. There's no weird gamey taste or anything. It tastes like an egg. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Go get your Rhea eggs. You sound like cootie pie. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be notified when my latest video is out. And check out theactionlab.com for the Action Lab subscription box. And check out my new book, Extreme Garage Science. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.